Inside the Shearing Speed Sports trailer, the team prepares for the first race of the day. Excellent, we're ready to go rip out there and kick some butts and be the bully on the track. And For veteran rider Robbie Malinowski, a disappointing weekend in Duluth adds extra pressure on him to perform here in Fargo. Duluth always has its own kind of pressure because it's the first race. Uh, everybody wants to see where everyone's at, you know, and see who did the homework and uh, who's in shape and who's ready to go. And, um, you know, I don't even think I got to show any of that. You know, like probably the third or fourth lap, it's like hauling up the hill right by the starting line, and I hit and just got bucked way up. I had some, uh, you know, just some tight back issues, and first race of the year, you're gonna have some some stuff like that. You want these? See, lower than that. Yeah, so like this, like this. Do that about 20 or 30 times. And they're now able to track around that. Oh, right away. Right away. We, we had some really good heats, we had some really bad heats, we had some stuff break, we had some, uh, the open final we didn't even make. That's like the last thing we wanted to do, was go in there and not make a final, and, uh, and we did that. Robbie ran extremely well in one of his heats, and then drifted away. I'm sure it was very disheartening for Steve Shearing and the Amsoil team. They did okay in qualifying. Come to the finals, I didn't see Heidner here, or Andrew Johnson and uh, Robbie Malinowski. They just weren't doing well. Huge pressure. And when you come out and you have two teammates and you have top shelf equipment and neither one does well, that's not good. After Duluth, Malinowski's racing partner, Andrew Johnstad, was terminated from the team and replaced by 24-year-old racer Willie Elam. You know, it's a doggy dog business that we're in. You know, it's, it's a bad deal uh, with Andrew. Uh, as far as my situation goes, yeah, it's an eye-opener. It's a, you know, you can be gone as fast as you're put on the team. And it's a high-profile team we're racing for. We've got a lot, of, a lot of pressure mounted on our heads and uh, a lot of people gunning for us. I feel like I got Duluth and Fargo happening this weekend. And I feel like I should be in the position to, to go for podiums and go for wins. So, um, and, you know, some people might think I'm crazy that I say that and they don't think that I got the, the speed, but um, you know, we'll see what happens and I, uh, I believe I'm gonna prove them wrong. We're looking for some revenge. Inside the Christian Brothers trailer, pro riders Garth Kaufman and rookie Logan Christian relax before the weekend of racing. Sorry Logan, you act so darn grown up for such a wee little kid. I could be your dad. My name is Garth Kaufman. I race for Christian Brothers and Articat, and I've been racing snowmobiles for 11 years. This track is is a great spectator track. It's it's you know you're right in it. You get to be right there, close in it, and it's a a smaller course, which is always good for for uptight racing. You know there will be a lot of blocking in the corners and, and tight racing. Ready to go play? Yeah, looks good. Yeah, looks fun. I would say I'm probably maybe one of the more aggressive guys that when you're in a corner, you kind of like, I, I wouldn't say I'm gonna hit you or take you out, but I'll definitely push on you. I've heard it's supposed to be cold. There's only one good thing out of cold temperatures and that's the sleds are even faster. That's a benefit of it because they the sleds just absolutely rip. Other than that, there's nothing good about it. <laughs> The race team Christian Brothers are great. This will be my third season with them and I, I love it there. Logan Christian, my teammate who I race with, you know, they do what they can to surround him by some of the best riders in the world to help him be, to be the best rider because what makes you better than, than riding with the best guys and training with them every day, you know? Because you were going good through there, but you were doubling where if, if you went between them, you could almost miss the bumps and just keep your track on the ground and just be on the gas the whole way. He's so much help on the track. Last year, he's always telling me what I do wrong, he, where you could have gone faster, what this guy was doing, where he's catching you on. That's a lot of help. Logan Christian has been walking around that trailer watching his dad Dwight for years work with pros and big name pros, very, very good fast guys. So when you're walking around that trailer and you're a kid thinking, someday I want to be the pro in that trailer, do I have what it takes? I ride dirt bikes in the summer and snowmobiles in the winter and just ever since I was two it's been racing, racing, racing. You take a look at a kid that just graduated from high school last year, dabbled in one race last year in the pro class just to see how competitive he would be. There's a driver that has got some real racing talent. You know, knowing I made it here, there's some people that wanted me to bump up and I gotta prove myself. So it just kind of gives you that extra boost that I'm gonna 
do everything I can to be on top. I do a lot of practicing with him and uh, he's definitely a, a strong, fast rider. I think over time he'll just slowly develop some of those skills to, to bring his speed up. For Fargo, it's a big, it's almost a home track. I mean, we only lived an hour away. My goal is just to race my own race. I mean, I'm, I'd love to get a podium. That's the biggest goal. I mean, everyone wants to win, so I'm, I'm just going to try my best and put it all on the line. When we return, Ross Martin, Tucker Hibbert, and Tim Tremblay prepare to battle it out in the first heat of the weekend. Does Martin have what it takes to overthrow number 68? The Emsoil Championship Snowcross Series is brought to you by Polaris, by Skidoo, and by Articat.